Hi everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Going out for a wild camp, and as you can see, I'm profusely sweating, dripping, mega perspiration already. <laughs> I'm about one hour in to this brutal climb. It's a thousand meters elevation gain, straight up the mountain. And it's probably gonna chuck down with rain later and be a big windstorm. But right now, it's dry. Well, I'm not, but it's not raining. But I better get on up to camp and get set up. We got this nice new Z-Pax Arc Hall pack. I'll talk about that more later. But so far, it's been an absolute pleasure to use one hour into this walk. But I'll come back to you guys and I'm back up on the tops. And I'll see you soon. Oh no. The tarn is just a mud pit. Made it up to the tops and yeah, it's quite sunny up here. Some dark clouds, but look at the tarn. There's no way I can drink from this muddy puddle. So I think I'm gonna to have to try and find some water. I think there's a bigger tarn over that way. But that walk up was so, that was rough. I need a drink. All oh, right, there's tadpoles in here. There's heaps of tadpoles. This water looks real brown. If I boil it, it should be all right. Actually, that's pretty good. Oh, that was a huge walk in. I'm not conditioned for this. But I'm here, the clouds are quite dark. It looks like it could rain. Um, but I'm pretty tired, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just get the tent set up and I might have a cup of hot noodles. Cause I'm exhausted, that was hard work. I love this tent, so easy to set up. Put the poles in the sleeves and it just pops up ready to go. It's perfect. That's home for tonight. The clouds are getting pretty dark, so I think I'll get the tarp up before I sort the stuff in the tent out. But look at this, man. What a setup. Can use this stick and get this propped up in the perfect angle. That'll be nice. Oh. Finally, we have a base established, set up, and it's nice. The Blade 2 Fire Maple Stove. I reckon it's the best weight to power 
to usability stove there is on the market. But you know, that's just my opinion. Oh man, I need these noodles. I'm very hungry, I'm quite sore. Like I said before, my fitness level is not really where it needs to be to be able to push hard up to this spot. It's a thousand meters, straight up, heavy pack, because I've got all my gear in it. And I haven't been up here since October, so it's been quite a while. And this is just the most grueling climb, so got a bit of work in the gym to do, and probably come up here a few more times before winter to condition myself. But I have these noodles, relax. And hopefully the rain oh. comes in, then I'll get the tent sorted out. Got them changed out of my dirty clothes into my base layers. I want to get myself nice and warm now. Get my down jacket on. It's always so glorious when you get this thing on. Look at the loft on it. It's amazing. Oh, that's instant, instant relief from the cold. Ooh. Look at this. Got my rain pants on. No wind can get at me. Super warm. I think I might go out for a little walk and I'll show you guys the dark clouds coming in. It's getting pretty stormy out there. It's quite a bit of wind, so I'll show you that. Then I'll think about getting dinner on, I think. Check this out. These dark clouds coming in. Out this way. Look at this, man. Look at it behind me. It's just incredible. Mountain views everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to camp and cook a Wagyu steak. All right, guys and girls, it's dinner time. And I'm really, really excited about this. Look what I got. Like what I had in one of the camps that I did a couple of videos back. I've got one of these Wagyu ribeye steaks and these things cook up absolutely tender and juicy. So I'm gonna get this on and I'll get some mashed potatoes and minted peas going. That's gonna be my dinner feast. Bits of rain coming. I think the rain's gonna be here soon. Would be nice. By the way, the reason I don't have a fire, which is very unusual for me, is because it's just so dry. There's been a drought and we're in a prohibited fire season, so we got fire bans. And I'm not gonna risk it, so you know, well it's against the law, so no fires. <laughs> There'll be plenty of fires, guys, in the winter, so don't stress. The Wood King will be back. Okay, those peas are done. Just put them aside. It's time to get the steak on. Oh, I need it bad. It's sealed in here pretty good. I froze it, so on the way up, it was nice and cold, so it should be okay now. All right. This is gonna be amazing. Got my GSI pan. Ooh. And I have heaps of avocado oil. Which I think is the best. Where did it go? So yeah, I got avocado oil in here. It's real good for cooking, I reckon. 
So I'll get heaps of that on. It'll give it like an ultimate crust. Let that get real hot. And they have salt and pepper somewhere. Okay, get that in there. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be epic. I don't really cook steaks much at home, so when I come out here and have these real nice Wagyu ones, I savour them. It's like a treat for me. Right, time to flip it. Oh man, look at that. Salt and pepper it up. I think that's done. Don't want to overdo it. Got these peas. I need to strain them. Put my steak down. Get those on. And the mashed potato, which I hope is rehydrated properly. Oh, just ruptured. I'll squeeze that out onto the plate. Oh, it doesn't get much better than that. A wagai ribu, <laughs> a wagyu ribeye, minted peas, and mashed potato. Everyone, I'm gonna eat this and enjoy it. See how the steak is. It has a very good crust. Yep, I did it again. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's tender. Really beefy, like, if you haven't had Wagyu beef, you gotta try it. The stuff's not like the most ultra high quality stuff, but it's still pretty good. Super juicy and super tender. To be frank, it's quite exquisite. You know? It's a doubly good culinary experience. When you carry it all the way up a mountain and then you eat it. Look at that. Succulent rendered fat ribeye. Whoa. A little bit of rain starting to come in. I think the storm front is just about to reach me. I'm getting completely enclosed in cloud now. It's just all grey and clagged in around me. I think it's going to be quite a chilly night. Oh. Living the dream. Got quite a nice little drizzle coming down now. Nice. It's all coming together. Excellent camp. It's 8 p.m. Oh yeah, that should rain probably all night long and then clear up in the morning, I think. 
That suits me. This is quite nice, quite relaxing. I think I might get a hot chocolate on. This rain's coming down real nice and gentle, and there's not too much wind. It's kind of like ideal camping in the rain conditions. Whoa. That's quite aggressive. <laughs> So I have this hot chocolate. Just chill out and enjoy this rain. Then I'll give you a review of my backpack and the tent tour, I think. Got a boil. <clears throat> that kettle and this stove is a combination. It boils water very, very fast. Like I said, I think it's the best setup. If you're gonna do cooking, and you want a remote canister stove, which I think are better than the little ones that sit on top of the gas canisters. I just like the stability that you get with them. And you can invert the can and it works at freezing temperatures, which is also very nice. So they have this massive hot chocolate. I'll fill the whole cup up. It'll be kind of dilute. But it'll be nice. Big old jar of dark. Turned out to be a pretty awesome camp. <laughs> it might get quite stormy later. Cheers everyone. Thanks for coming. Oh, it's hot. That's quite a decent bit of rain coming down. Might guy out the tent properly at the back, just in case it gets windy at night. <laughs> Wouldn't want it to blow away on me. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like mist and cloud coming through the campsite. I'm right on the edge of this little spur, so cloud and mist and rain like shoots up and comes right over at me. It's pretty atmospheric, it's pretty nice, pretty relaxing. By the way, if you guys are wondering where is Victoria and why she hasn't been on the, the camps recently, I do have a great reason and all will be explained in due course. So don't worry, Victoria's okay, she's at home at the moment and she'll be out on camps again, but just not for the next couple months or however long, you know. So yeah, I just thought I would um, update you guys that watch all the videos and want to know where she is, so, now you know. Wow.
I think I'm gonna get into bed. At least take my waterproofs off and lie down for a bit. I'm getting quite hot with this down jacket on and the rain jacket. There's so much insulation inside of it. It's next level. Look at this setup. I got my little Big Agnes fairy lights in the tent. They're from the gear shop. That's my favorite store. You guys know it. I'll put a link in the description. You can check it out. As well as the Z-Packs. So you can go through and look at the pack and look at their other gear. They've got some awesome stuff. I'll give you close-ups and give my thoughts on the pack. Maybe in the morning or maybe when I get in the tent. I'm not sure yet. But I think I'll get this gear off. I'll come back to you guys when I'm undressed. <laughs> not actually, but kind of. It's getting so hot. Oh man. Okay, the situation is under control. It's so nice to be in the tent. I've got my UGQ, negative one. This is good old blue. This quilt has done, done great for me. I've used it in so many camps. With the nice blaze orange interior. And I'm on the, um, the Zoom UL, which is probably my favorite pad for when it's not freezing, so. This is the setup, and I'm actually getting a bit hot. I have to take the beanie off. Probably need to vent the tent pretty good tonight. It is supposed to get real cold in the morning, so yeah, we'll see about that. Just been chilling in the tent for a bit, for about half an hour, just lying down. It's pretty nice in here. I got these little fairy lights, which make it quite cozy. They're not too bright, so it's like. This nice little glow inside the, the beautiful yellow interior of the Hilleberg Neat. But I'm pretty warm and I'm tucked up. And I'm feeling pretty good, so I think I'll go to sleep and just enjoy listening to this rain. You can hear that wind. It's gonna get stormy tonight, I think. But it should be alright. Guide the whole tent out and it's a secure, strong tent, so. We'll be okay, everyone. Unless anything crazy happens. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning, and I'll give you um, my full review of the pack, and I'll show you all its little details and stuff. But it's been a great night, and thanks for coming, everyone. And a special thanks to the channel members. You guys are awesome, and everyone who comments, likes, and subscribes. Really appreciate your support. It means a lot that you watch me camping. But anyway, I'm going to go to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> oh, good morning, everybody. It's a pretty good night's sleep. Uh, I was warm enough and there wasn't too much wind. There was a few little downpours in the night, which was quite nice, because I'm well set up. So just lay there, listen to some nice rain coming down. But I've awoken to this misty morning. Pretty low visibility, and I've made myself a big filter brew, so soon my brain will reignite, all the neurons will begin to fire, and I'll feel good again. This is the first sip. That's what it's all about, the first sip. It's like when you have the first sip of a pint, you go to the pub, you sit down, you order your beer and you have that sip. You know, if you know, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna chill in the tent, have my brew, enjoy the ambience. I'm nice and warm. I did chuck my down jacket on at about three, I think it's like 3.30 a.m. 
I don't think I needed it, but it's just cozy. So, yeah. And there's a robin. Right by my camp. I'll try to bring the camera around and show you. That's up on the tree. It's called a tomcat, not a robin. Oop, he's gone. That was a really good brew. That's my special Colombian natural process coffee. It's a variety called San Bernardino, I think it is, or Pache. It's a mutation from the typical plant, produces a super sweet, complex cup. Very delicious. A few coffee snobs out there. Not that I'm a snob. I just like to indulge in the finer things in life, like little ground up seeds while I'm in a tent. cold up here it's nice to be up here in the mountains in the fresh morning looks like all the rains passed it's just clouds but man the temperatures dropped it's probably close to zero degrees but with a wind chill probably like negative two or three or four it's cold the sun emerges over the ridge and I will bask in its radiating glory. Look at that light, it's incredible. Hey, that's nice. Sun's up. Put the camera into slow mo. It's like I'm in the movie Gladiator. Walking through my fields in my tussocks, the sun coming up. Are you not entertained? <laughs> oh man, I think I need another coffee. This is pretty special. I'm gonna go back down to camp. I'm gonna cook some bacon and egg sandwiches, have some more coffee. But what a morning. I feel quite lucky to be up here. I think at some point I might pitch my tent right on this grassy spot and camp right up on the ridge in a snowstorm if you'd like to see that let me know there'll be no tarp probably no chair i'll just be huddling in the tent struggling for survival and probably cook a five course meal or something The grotto is now infused with the delicious scent of sizzling bacon. <laughs> oh, this is thick cut streaky. I'm gonna put it into two um, sourdough buns with some relish. It's gonna be very, very nice. I think that bacon's done. Man, that bacon, that cooked nicely. I'm looking forward to these. This is all it takes, you know, a simple breakfast. You could just eat nothing, could have oats, or you could just put in a tiny bit of effort. 
have something delicious like this. I definitely think it's worth it. Mmm. Relish, man. Relish, bacon, and sourdough. Mmm. I'll need this energy to get out. Because it's still a long way down. My body did recover quite good overnight though. My knee's not as sore. Just feel quite energized today. So hopefully the walkout's pretty nice. That's real good. Another coffee to cleanse the palate of breakfast. And then I think oh, um, I'll do my little run down on my backpack and then it's time to pack up and head out. It's been fantastic this camp. It was a rough trip up, but I overcome the struggle and my lack of conditioning. And it's turned out to be beautiful, great conditions, good food, pretty good sleep. Overall, probably give it a 7 out of 10. But the backpack, um, yeah, so it's the Z Packs Arc Hall, and I think it weighs 650 grams, which is about 2 kilos less than my other backpack. So that's a considerable weight saving just on the backpack itself. And it didn't really feel like I was compromising much comfort. I carried the load that I brought up here quite well. I had about 15 kilos, 35 pounds or so in the backpack. I think it's rated up to about 18 kilos. Uh, and it took the weight easy. There's far less padding, but I didn't really feel uncomfortable. And actually, maybe it fits better. It's got a lot of support. Like It's got carbon fiber stays, so it takes the weight. It's got a nice wide opening for the chest, because I've got quite wide shoulders, so it fits me good. Um, and yeah, I mean, I was unfit and I struggled up the hill, but that's not because of the pack. And it fits everything in real good. There's a huge mesh pocket in the front, so I can just like slip all my bits and pieces in the front. There's nice big pockets on the side. You can fit a chair and a drink bottle in there. And then it's just got a huge main compartment, which I think is 55 or 60 litres with a roll top. And it's seam sealed, so it should be waterproof. And it's made of the ultra fabric, which is waterproof fabric. So overall, I mean, initial outing, I would give it high praise. So like I said before, there's a link in the description. You can check out Z-Packs. It's an affiliate, so if you purchase, I think I get 5% or something. So if you want to get some sick gear and support me, you can check it out. But I'll be using, I'll be using the pack a lot more and give it way more testing. But so far, so good with that. I'll give you some close-ups of it too, overlaying and stalking so you can see what I mean. But yeah, it's probably enough for me. I'm going to have this coffee. Just enjoy the peacefulness up here. Listen to the birds. And I guess it's packed down time. Alright everyone, all packed up, it's pretty easy, everything fits in pretty good to this, the Arkhall 70 litre. It's not packed as nice and tightly as it was when I first got in, but still managed to get everything in quite good. But yeah, I'm going to probably head out now, I'm going to get back up onto the ridge and walk along, it's going to be a nice walk. It's still three hours down, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt the knees, but I'm feeling energised, should be good. I'd just like to say thanks again to everyone who watches, subscribes, thumbs up, comments, special thanks to the channel members, your guys' support means a lot. And um, yeah, I'm happy to share these adventures with you guys, so I hope you enjoy them. But I'm going to get this pack on and head on out. I have a ginger beer waiting for me in the car, which is going to be glorious. Might film me saying goodbye down there, but 
I'm just going to enjoy the walk out, take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.